Hey everyone, thank you for joining us this week for a wellness discussion. I am Rick with Aegis Energy, and this week we will be discussing better hearing and speech. I hope you enjoy this presentation. May's Better Hearing and Speech Month. What is better hearing and speech? A time to raise awareness about communication disorders and available treatment options that can improve the quality of life for those who experience problems speaking or hearing. We will go over some speech and hearing conditions in the following slides. Speech disorders can affect the way a person creates sound to form words. Certain voice disorders may also be considered speech disorders. One of the most commonly experienced speech disorders is stuttering. Other speech disorders include apraxia and dysarthria. Apraxia is a motor speech disorder order caused by damage to the parts of the brain related to speaking. Dysarthria is a motor speech disorder in which the muscles of the mouth, face, or respiratory system may become weak or have difficulty moving. Some people with speech disorders are aware of what they would like to say but are unable to articulate their thoughts. This may lead to self-esteem issues and the development of depression. Speech disorders can affect adults and children. Early treatments can correct these conditions. Speech disorders affect the vocal cords, muscles, nerves, and other structures within the throat. Causes may include vocal cord damage, brain damage, muscle weakness, respiratory weakness, strokes, polyps, or nodules on the vocal cords, Vocal cord paralysis, people who have certain medical or developmental conditions may also have speech disorders. Common conditions that can lead to speech disorders are autism, attention deficit hyperactive disorder, strokes, oral cancer, laryngeal cancer, Huntington's disease, dementia, or ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Depending on the cause of speech disorder, several symptoms may be present. Common symptoms experienced by people with speech disorders are repeating sounds, which is most often seen in people who stutter, adding extra sounds or in words, elongating words, making jerky movements while talking, usually involving the head, blinking several times while talking, visible frustration when trying to communicate, talking frequent pauses, when talking, distorting sounds when talking, hoarseness, or speaking with a raspy or gravelly sounding voice. Diagnosis, Denver Articulation Screening Exam. The Denver Articulation Screening Exam is commonly used testing symptoms to diagnose articulation disorders. This test evaluates the clarity and pronunciation in children between ages two and seven. This five minute test uses very various exercises to ask, assess the child's speech. Early language milestone scale two. This test created by neurodevelopmental pediatrician James Copeland determines the child's language development. This test can quickly identify delayed speech or language disorders. The Peabody Picture Vocabulary Test revised. This test measures a person's vocabulary and ability to speak the person will listen to various words and choose pictures that uh, describe the words. People who have severe intellectual disabilities and those who are blind won't be able to take this assessment. The Peabody Picture Vocabulary Test has been revised many times since the first version was administered in 1959. Mild speech disorders may not require any treatment. Some speech disorders may simply go away. Others can improve with th speech therapy. Treatments vary and depends on the type of disorder. In speech therapy, a professional therapist will go guide you through exercises that work to strengthen the muscles in your face and throat. You'll learn to control your breathing while speaking. Muscle strengthening exercises and controlled breathing help improve the way your words sound. You also learn ways to practice smoother, more fluent speech. Some people with speech disorders experience nervousness, embarrassment, or depression. Talk. Talk therapy may be helpful in these situations. 
A therapist will discuss ways to cope with the condition and ways to improve the outlook of your condition. Types of hearing loss. We will go over the different types of hearing loss. Conductive, sensor, sensory neural, and mixed. Your middle ear is made up of three parts, the outer, the middle, and the inner. Conductive hearing loss happens when sounds cannot get through the outer and middle ear. It may be hard to hear sounds. Louder sounds may be muffled. This type of hearing loss can be caused by the following. Fluid in your middle ear from colds or allergies. Ear infection or otitis media. Otitis is a term used to mean ear infection and media means middle. Poor station tube function. The station tube connects your middle ear and your nose. Fluid in the middle ear can drain out through this tube. Fluid can stay in the middle ear. If the tube does not work correctly, a hole in your eardrum, benign tumors. These tumors are not cancer, but it can block the outer or middle ear. Earwax, stuck in your ear canal. Infection in the ear canal called external otitis. This may be called swimmer's ear. And object stuck in the middle of your outer ear. A problem with how the outer or middle ear is formed. Some people are born with a, without an outer ear. Some may have deformed ear canal or have a problem with the bones in the middle ear. Sensor and oral hearing loss. Your ear is made up of three parts, the outer, the middle, and the inner. Sensory neural hearing loss, or SNHL, happens after ear happens after inner ear damage. Problems with the nerve pathways from your inner ear to your brain can also cause SNHL. Soft sounds may be hard to hear, even louder sounds may be unclear or may sound muffled. This is the most common type of permanent hearing loss. Most of the time, medicine or, or surgery cannot fix SNHL. Hearing aids may help you hear. This type of hearing loss can be caused by the following things. Illness, drugs are toxic to hearing, hearing loss that runs a family, aging, a blow to the head, a problem in the way the inner ear is formed, listening to loud noises or explosions. Mixed hearing loss. Sometimes a conductive hearing loss happens at the same time as a sensorial hearing loss. This means that there may be damage in the outer or middle ear and in the inner ear or nerve pathway to the brain. This is mixed hearing loss. Anything that causes conductive hearing loss or SNHL can lead to a mixed hearing loss. An example would be if you have a hearing loss because you work around loud noises and you have fluid in your middle ear. The two together might make your hearing worse than it would with only one problem. Physical exam. Your doctor will look in your inner ear for possible causes of your hearing loss, such as earwax, inflammation from an infection. Your doctor will also look at any structural causes of your hearing problems. General tests. Your doctor may use a whisper test asking you to cover one ear at a time and see how you hear words spoken at various volumes or how you respond to other sounds. Its accuracy can be limited. App-based hearing tests. Mobile apps are available that you can use by yourself on your tablet to screen for moderate hearing loss. Tuning fork tests. Tuning fork are two pronged Metal instruments that produce sounds when struck. Simple tests when tuning forks can help your doctor detect hearing loss. This evaluation may also reveal where in your ear the damage has occurred. Audiometer tests. During these more thorough tests conducted by an audiologist, you wear headphones and hear sounds and words that are directed to each ear. Each tone is repeated at faint levels to find the quietest sound you can hear. Treatments. If you have hearing problems, help those available. 
Treatments, depending on the cause and severity of your hearing loss, options include removing wax blockage. Earwax blockage is a reversible cause of hearing loss. Your doctor may remove earwax using a suction or a small tool with a loop on the end. Surgical procedures. Some types of hearing loss can be treated with surgery, including abnormalities of the eardrum or bones of hearing. If you had a repeated infections with persistent fluid, your doctor may insert small tubes that help your ear drain. Hearing aids. If your hearing loss is due to damage in your ear, a hearing aid can be helpful. An audiologist can discuss with you the potential benefits of a hearing aid and fit you with a device. Cochlear implants. If you have more severe hearing loss and gain limited benefit from the conventional hearing aids, then a cochlear implant may be an option. Unlike a hearing aid, it amplifies sound and directs it into your ear canal. A cochlear implant bypasses damage or non-working parts of your inner ear and directly stimulates the hearing nerve. An audiologist, along with a medical doctor who specializes in disorders of ears, nose, and throat, can discuss the risk and benefits. Coping and support. These tips can help you communicate more easily despite your hearing loss. Tell your friends and family. Let them know that you have some hearing loss. Position yourself to hear. Face the person you're talking to. Turn off background noise. Ask others to speak clearly but more loudly. Try to have the other person's attention before speaking. Choose quiet settings. Consider using an assistive listening device. Hearing devices such as TV listening systems or phone amplifying devices. Appointments. If you suspect you may have hearing loss, call your doctor after an initial evaluation. Your doctor may refer you to a hearing specialist, audiologist. Here is some information to help you prepare for your appointment. What you can do. Write down your symptoms. And how long you've had them. Write down key medical information, especially related to any Ear problems include any chronic infections, injury to your ear, or previous ear surgery. Summarize your work history, including any jobs, even those in the distant past, that expose you to high levels of noise. Take a family member or friend along. Write down questions for your doctor. And thank you for tuning in this week. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Again, my name is Rick with Aegis Energy. 